Good morning. Happy Friday. TGIF. Guess what time it is? Hey, Sharon, what's the tea? Let's find out what the tea is for you fuckers today. But before I do that, let me remind you. Come on my live tonight, 6 to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you're a subscriber, you better be there. If you're not a subscriber, you better subscribe and come see me. Okay? I miss you. Y'all know who you are. Y'all know who I'm talking about when I'm talking about I miss you. Y'all know. Come see me. I miss you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, come on now. Get on that crazy train and come see me. It's all about that fun, baby. All right. The blues. Mm. Scared, heavy emotions, mental distress. Okay. Over some lust. Greed. Bareback. Inconsiderable. Tiptoeing. Avoiding getting caught. Acting shady. Sneaking around. Okay. So, spirits are showing me that someone wants to fuck somebody. Maybe it's the person you're tapping them about. Maybe it's you. I don't know. But, it's somebody you want to fuck really bad. You got a lot, a lot of lust for them. However, you're scared. Okay, you're running around with the tail between your legs. You're heavy in your emotions because you don't want to be scared. You want this. However, you're mentally distressed because you're for, you're trying not to get caught. You're afraid you're going to get caught because whatever you need to do for this lustful connection is sneak around and uh, act in shady. And that's something I don't know that you're wanting to do. That's what you're scared of. Side note, y'all know if you're fucking around and you're doing sneaky shit, the best way to figure that out without getting caught is to communicate with one another. That way you know what the fuck's happening, what's about to go down. You warn a bitch when, you know, you gotta warn a bitch. You bitches know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, Sharon. We gotta shave our hoo-ha. We gotta shower. We gotta make sure our hoo-ha is cleaned out and everything. Yes, there are preparations. And you also need to make sure that she ain't on her cycle. Okay, had to get that out. That was a side note. Now, <clears throat> this person is full of highs and lows, right? They're going you know, like a roller coaster of emotions right now. <clears throat> and it's like, <clears throat> see that burp? That's not a burp, that was a throat chakra. Spirits are like, this person wants to speak to you, but they're afraid. They're afraid because they're afraid of getting caught. So they're like really hot and cold with it. Um, on and off again, like, okay, I'm going to do it. Okay, no, I can't. No, I can't. No, I'm going to do it. No, uh, I'm going to get fucking caught, man. I don't... <sighs> right? This is how this is going. Mm. Spirit, thank you, spirit. Boy. Lift off. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, so fast action, progression forward. The wait is over. Wow. Okay, so spirits are saying that this person is going to take action after all, they're going to overcome their fear. They're going to call you up and say, hey, I'd like to see you. And you're going to go, hell yeah. And then you're going to go get in the shower. And you're going to shave your hoo-ha and all that shit. And you're going to make sure you're clean and fresh and smelling cute and all that. And looking cute. And this motherfucker is going to come over and they're going to fuck the hell out you. And right now, they're watching your shit on social media. They're probably watching you in the physical realm. Um, yeah, they have... Mm -hmm. What they're afraid of is somebody catching them. So there's a third party involvement here. 
They're afraid of having to tiptoe around maybe a third party that you're involved with. Um, snooping, digging for dirt, accusations, they're, they're afraid. They're afraid. This is a very risky situation. Um, I'm sensing situationship uh, in some way, shape, or form, unconventional and sneaky. And this person is afraid to get caught. <laughs> they're afraid of someone that might, you know, find out. I'm not sure exactly who, what, or where, but you're, you have self-awareness. This person has self-awareness and getting through illusions and detaching from their ego, um, is very hard for them, right? So, but right, like there is going to be a moment where they're going to break free from their ego. They're going to break free from their fear and they're going to just say, fuck it and do it, right? They're going to call you. It's going to happen. There's going to be lift off. Do you hear me? <laughs> Things going up. <laughs> you hear me? Okay. Um, and I feel like, I feel like they're afraid that also in, in, in all of this, that you, they might lose you forever. You know, they might say, you know what? You might say, peace out. Um, thank you. Next, I'm moving on. This is taking too damn long. And that might be the case, right? That might be the case. But this person is trying to rid themselves from any kind of negativity in their life. Any kind of, you know, whatever drama, negativity, bad vibe, whatever it is. And that's why they're afraid of getting caught. They don't want no more shit. I feel like this person's been going through a lot if they have to do a cleanse. And I get that, okay? Um, I get that. You know, and your person, let them know somehow that you 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 understand and you empathize with them and and just extend them the grace of patience. Be patient and let them go through the, what they need to go through and get their shit straight, okay? And when they do get their straight, shit straight and they're finished with the healing, you know, they might even be self-medicating at the moment to get through said healing. Um, but let them get their shit straight, let them heal, and there will be lift off. Once they have their spiritual awakening and they, and they have the realizations of everything that's been going on and that they don't have to be worried, they don't have to be scared, they don't have to be insecure, they, they don't have to feel like they're doing too much, or they're overly well overwhelmed, and you know, their anxiety is going through the roof, and they don't have to overindulge herself. So, let them take their time, let them do your, their research on you, let them spy on you, okay, because that's what they're doing, they're doing the research, they're learning more and more each day, and they're gaining insight from you, okay? From watching your social media, I'm telling you. And within that, there is some sort of balance that it gives this person. Peace, harmony, balance, right? Happiness. You give them some form of happiness and inspiration to look into themselves. Like self-realization, self like you, awareness of what how they're you know what's going on with them why are they being this way what what i don't understand what i'm feeling i don't understand what you're feeling you know what i mean like this person is is really benefiting from watching your shit <clears throat> i don't know what but this person is acting like a black sheep right rebelling going against expectations and defying norms so i feel like this person um feels like a black sheep and there's been a lot of drama as a result of it. And I feel like right now they're kind of at a, you know, and they don't want any more bullshit right now. Um, yeah. But keep in mind, they're still lusting for you. They fantasize about you every day, sexually or otherwise. Even just literally just spending normal time with you, cooking dinner, doing dishes, whatever. Um, shit like that on top of fucking the hell out of you. Like, so, hope this helps. Love you.